We are Dave and Tiff and in this series we are travelling in our motorhome Roma with our two dogs Zena and Luna and we are heading off for France, Spain and Portugal. Hope you enjoyed this series. This week's episode sees two idiots trying to find their way into the palace at Aranjes. Will do if I've got any fillings left. I don't know why they sent you this way. Right. Wouldn't it have been easy going the other way? Oh, it says follow the camping signs, and the camping signs are this way. I want to get into the lane now, don't I? You do, yeah. Well, we're just going for a little walk from the site, crossing over the river, which is very murky, I have to say. River Tagus, it is. Oh, yeah. Autumn has arrived here. All the stray cats around here. Um, yeah. And amazingly for us, we've got almost the whole site to ourselves. We have. There's only three motones on the whole site, which is quite big as well. I don't even know where I'm pointing this. Go to. <laughs> Camping Aranjes, is it? Aranjes. 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 And we're going to the palace tomorrow. Yes, hopefully. Not today. Oh, it says no dogs. Camping around Hez. Does it say no dogs? Does it say we're not a lead? Let's go and read it. Oh. Maybe you can walk along that other path, look. Yeah, maybe. OK, I can understand it when it's busy. That other path, what path? No animals, no bicycles. Well, that's plan... Well, that's the end of that, then. A, gone down the dump. Let's just check out the walking app again. See if there's a way out of here. I did wonder. With your dog? Yeah, you know what they're like. Ugh. So I'm beginning to think we should call this trip road trip. No dogs allowed. <laughs> yeah, it does seem that way, doesn't it? <laughs> well, we've never really experienced it quite so bad. Anyway, we've left the girls in the van. As, it's, as you can see, it's cooled down a lot. And we're heading into the gardens, which we weren't allowed into yesterday because we had the dogs, and we're going to the palace. So I'm going to show you some of the gardens. Yes. And autumn has suddenly arrived. Very autumnal. Mind you, it's the 20th of November. It here is. in Spain. Just 21st, south of Madrid. Actually, okay. 21st, is it? Yeah. Should we go through the middle or round the edge? Well, I thought you said you were going to come back that okay. way. Okay. I don't know. Nice colours. Beautiful colours. Anyway, it's nice in the sun, but it's cool otherwise. Four degrees last night. And yesterday we were in 24 degrees, weren't we? We were. <laughs> so, uh, it cooled down quickly. It did. Well, it's nice and pretty, I guess, but I'm not sure why dogs on the beach wouldn't be allowed. Especially at this time of year. Fair enough, you might not want them. You've got kids. But, yeah. Anyway. Very all night little um, urns. The gardener's sleeping there, look. Anyway, yeah, heading into our run. Our right, hands. which direction is this palace? Straight on? I don't know. We have to get out of Mr. Guggenheimly. We follow the river, don't we? I think you could just go across where we came in. Like that roundabout? Yeah.
So the palace where we're heading, there's only a few minutes from the site really, is um, just there over that bridge. You can just about see one of its towers. But we're not sure whether we can get out this way, are we, darling? No, we're not. So we might have to double back. Still, it's good exercise. We've done more than our 10,000 steps today. Okay. That means we've earned a couple of beers. <laughs> you can't get out. I don't know, I have to double back. Nope, it's the brick wall. It? Okay. Into the grand entrance over there, I believe. Yep. Ah, the grand entrance gate. Magnificent. So uh, we came in down that road there, <laughs> in the mole hill, and uh, there's the palace, and basically, that's the way. You can't drive straight along here, so you've got to come down this road here, and then back, if that makes sense. Where do we pay? I don't know. Probably online, I'm going to read that sign over there. Oh, there's no water. Oh. That's sad. No water. Can you tell me much? No. We'll just go up there. Yeah. If I can't pay on the way in, I'll have to do online. We just couldn't work out how to get to the palace to go inside. Is it that way, do you think? Yeah, let's go clockwise. Always makes sense. Oh, didn't it, my brain? I said Otherwise, I get confused. <laughs> <laughs> you nutter. I'm good with my directions. some sort of uh, waterfall that we're heading towards now. It's a weir. David, it's a weir. I reckon it must be there. Sorry? To get in, must be at those steps there. Oh, right, okay, let's go. Attention. Let's go. Oh, you don't have to go out to go in. Oh, that's a cute little bridge. Well, maybe it's not there. Just keep going. So, the Palace of Aranjes. Palace de Aranjes. Aranjes. And we still can't find the entrance. I don't know if it's here. You have to get the phone out. Thankfully, it's free to go around the gardens of the palace because we just could not find the entrance to go inside. And many, many, many steps later, we're still searching. Cool, huh? So it's raining leaves. 
And we still can't find the entrance. <laughs> 25,000 steps later. You just want to see Mr. Peacock putting up his feathers, don't you? Her little heart's going faster. Bless her. You carry on. Take me to your leader. Interesting place to put your hand. Wow, the place is massive. Well, there are people in there, but we can't find a way in. It's so frustrating. I'll go back to that other entrance. Yeah. Where that woman was. She can tell me where to go. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There's no sign. No signs anywhere. Like you must be able to go in. So unfortunately you are not allowed to take your camera in or photos in the palace. Um, it was rather busy. There were more staff than punters. <laughs> and some of the rooms kind of hurt your eyes because they were really over decorated. But it was very palatial. It was. Everything was in really good condition. It was. Yeah. It was nine euros each to go in. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's quite good. But you can walk around the grounds, obviously, for free. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. We've been to the King's Palace. We've been to the King's Alfonso's Palace. Alfonso's Palace. You like Alfonso, isn't it? Yeah. He's involved in everything. <laughs> Didn't he become king at four? He became king at four. Oh, wow. Look, Number 14. Yeah. Alfonso 14. That's it. Became king at four. These are random facts that we know on life. Right, we're off to find some shops because we need some coffee. Thank you and good night. Well, I'm not going to bed. <laughs> You're so childish sometimes. <laughs> it's because we haven't seen anything like this for so long. Spain hasn't had much water or rain. Do you think they've taken it out? Yeah, they drained being, everything. Um, Probably drain it for winter, don't they? No, not just because they're being ecologically. Well, no. You said it's going to be minus four tomorrow night. Yeah, it doesn't mean so. about rain, does it, Dave? Oh no. <laughs> rain. I thought you said water dra drained it. No water. No. As in, you know, because they have. It's shortage of water, so you can't have the fountains running. Yes. Maybe that's it. Not to do with being minus four tomorrow night. No, well it could be. Maybe they were just being, you know, thinking about the water shortage in Spain. I'm assuming it's short up here as well. It's down south. So we're leaving Aranjes. Um, just about to check out and heading north of Madrid. I was going to say south, that would have been nice, but we're going north. He's just plumbing in the route. Oh no, he's checking batteries. Are you plumbing in the route, Zenzin? Nah. Don't trust Zenna. Right then, let's go and check out, pay the money, and go for a free air, hopefully. And a nice blue sky, although it's cold again. But we're thankful for blue skies. We didn't go and look at the pool. Not that it's open at this time of year. Right, you stop in here so I can check out. Yeah. That was a huge drive. That's right. Yeah, okay. Now I jump. Just circling round to the east of Madrid on the ring road. 
the M50. It's been all right so far, hasn't it? Yeah, it's not been too bad. We did go on the outskirts, outskirts, so we didn't go through. It's 17 degrees, so it's warmed up a little bit. Just taking our exit now. And uh, no, we're hoping we're in a patch of sunshine that we could see in the distance because the clouds have appeared. It says nice mountain views, but I don't think I can see them. No, clouds, cloudy clouds, not seen them for a while. Lucky us. Riaza, 11 kilometres. Look, we are in the sun at the moment. So we've just arrived. We'll be the only ones here, surprisingly. So we are at Riazzo. We didn't go through the village, we went down the far end and then came in. Because somebody had left a review to say it was rather narrow in the village. Um, One of these then, isn't it? Yeah. Take it these bottom ones here are... Aren't they? Yeah. yeah. And I can't see anyone, can you? Huh? You can't see anyone. I can't see anybody come in, to be honest. Well, they might do. It's early yet. It's only lunchtime. Yeah. A we'll bite to eat before they're heading off. Yep. Probably need ramps, though. Yeah, we do, yeah. OK. So here we are in Riaza. It's going to go for a little walk around. And it's chilly, but the sun is just about out. Not clouds everywhere. Hey ho. Here comes Mr. C. I've forgotten the name of the church already. I've only just read it on the map. Yeah. It's a big church, isn't it? This must be the Plaza Mayor. Warm enough, darling. It's lovely and warm, yes. Up that street. Yeah. Lots of bars on this road. God, yeah, look at all those bars. They're still open, yeah? Amazingly. I mean, you know, normally me, I'm always tempted to go to a bar, but that wind and the temperature, whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Cup of cocoa. <laughs> So apparently they have a bull ring thing. Festival goes on, I assume it's there. But this one, they've already got their Christmas lights on, but uh, I suppose it is towards the end of November. That was our brief stop in Riaza, and with the shock announcement that Dave didn't want to stop for a beer, but wanted to head back for some coffee, um, we'll leave you there. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe and comment and we'll see you next time as we visit two lovely Spanish hillside villages heading north. Just look at me, all my goals with nothing left Hollow, emptied out, but got lost, can't be found You stole every bit of me, now I can't remember
I will make 